Hi Pinks, how you doing? Let me know in the comments below. Today we're gonna get a thrilling free item, so I really think you should stick around until the end. But first, I bet you can't like and subscribe before Lilac says go. 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> Firstly, join this game. To get this item, you will need 25 wins. To get a win, this timer has to reach 0. Every time it reaches 0, you will get a win, but, if someone in the server moves, the timer will reset, so do not move. When you join the server, do not move. Do you like the item? Let me know below. First, go to the catalog, or the link in the description, and buy this candy head. Here's how it looks with my hair combo. So good. And the next head is this carrot head. Looks just like headless. Which do you prefer? Let me know below. This fake headless trick was so cool, but sadly, Roblox took the bundle off of the market. Do you think they lad it back? Let me know in the comments. As you all know, the original Billy bundle was taken down, but I found this head that works for fake headless, just as well as the original Billy head. First, click the first link in the description, and get this head for free. Now, go to your avatar, and equip the head, and put on a black hair combo. All I recommend is that the hair is long enough to cover the head. Once the hair is on, go here. And make your head this color. You can also put on a neck accessory if you feel it is necessary, but I personally didn't want to add one. Then, put on some clothes and any other accessory you can to add. And as you can see, it truly looks like you have headless, for free. Do you think this is the best headless hack? Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> to get the headless like the person in the TikTok, you need to buy this head for only 35 Robux. This head just might be better than the doom seeking I had. Here's how it looks with different pairs. Insane, right? Also, I've seen some people say that the doom seeking I had has been deleted, but it still works for me. But do not worry pinks, if any of these heads are deleted, you will get your robux refunded. Which do you think is better, doom seeking I had, or this smiler head? Let me know below. Firstly, buy this new light bulb head, for 25 Robux. Then, go to your avatar and equip it. If you're wondering what hair combo I have on, here it is. And here is how it looks in game. Not bad. Would you wear this? Let me know below. Firstly, buy this hollow head, for 85 Robux. Now, equip the head. I also recommend putting a hair combo that's kind of full and big, and has side bangs. Here's how it looks in game. Not bad. But this next headless hack is definitely better. To get the first item, join this game. Now, once you're in, press this icon to see all of the tasks you must complete to get the item. To complete the first task, all you have to do is play for an hour and 30 minutes, which isn't hard at all. You can literally just stay at the start menu, and it'd count. Same goes for the third task, survive for 15 minutes. Now, the next two tasks are a bit tricky, because the game is still in beta and it was really buggy, at least for me. 
When I tried to interact with objects, none of them would load. So I couldn't get any of the coins required to complete the third task. But, to invite 5 friends, just go to the start menu, and press invite friends to join, and invite 5 people. But, after you get the coins, and finish the rest of the tasks, you should be able to claim the free item. Do you like it? Let me know below. Firstly, join this game. To get the UGC Limited, you have to stay in the game for 2 hours straight. You cannot leave and join back, or else the timer will reset. So don't get kicked. Once you reach 2 hours, you should be able to claim the free item. Do you like it? Let me know below in the comments. You guys, I was scrolling through the new UGC Roblox heads in the catalog, and I came across this eye ring head. Here's how you can use this head for fake headless. First, buy the head. Equip the head, and then go here. And change the head to this color. Now, put on a black hair combo. Preferably one that covers the top of your head really good. And this is how mine looks. Do you like this headless? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. No you guys, there was never a free item in this obby. That video is fake. Did you think it would work? Let me know below. UGC creator, Dianchella underscore, announced in a tweet that they are releasing a new, free, limited hair today, September 19th, at 1pm EST. The stock amount is 1500, and it will not be in game, only available in the catalog. And remember, all links below. Here's how the hair looks. Do you like it? Let me know below. Firstly, join this game, and as soon as you join, do not move. If you move, then this timer we reset, and we do not want that because, to get the limited UGC item, everyone in the server has to stand still for 30 minutes straight. If you move, even a little bit, the timer will reset back to zero. I would recommend that you make a private server, but they cost 500 Robux. But, if the timer somehow goes through all 30 minutes, you should get the item. The stock for this item is 3000, and 2476 have already been claimed, so be quick. Do you like the item? Let me know in the comments below. Firstly, join this game. To get the hair, you have to find all of these letters, T, W, I, C, and E. Now, follow me to all of the letter locations.
Once you have all 5 letters, you should get the badge and item. Do you like it? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one. This is the game we will be in today. To get this first item, the Jamarant Beats headphones, you have to go to the Dark Court Portal. To unlock the Dark Court Portal, you have to complete 5 quests. To do quests, you have to come over here to Quest Guy and do what he tells you to lol. For most quests, you just have to follow the white arrows. And make sure you press redeem after every quest so you can move on to the next one. Once I got to the participate in a dunk contest quest, I was able to go into the dark court portal. Now, to get this next item, all you have to do is talk to the John Warrant NPC. And finally, to get this last item, you have to do all of the quests John Warrant gives to you. For the first quest, you have to earn 1500 additional beats bucks. You can earn beats bucks by doing dunks on the court. And, certain shoes give you more XP slash money, so keep that in mind. For the next quest, you have to collect 15 orbs, which are these floating things around the map. For the third quest, you have to buy 3 shoes from dark mode court. To buy 3 shoes in the court, you need at least 9000 beats bucks, aka seasonal cash. You can grind and get the money from doing dunks and stuff, or you can buy it with Robux lol. Once you have enough cash, but the shoes. This next quest was really hard for me to do, and that's why I don't have this item, sadly. But for this quest, you need to do three 100% dunks, in a row. So on the meter down here, you have to get 100% every time, for 3 consecutive dunks. And now, for the last quest, you just have to get 3000 more XP. You can get XP by doing dunks, and like I mentioned earlier, different shoes can give you more XP slash cash, so keep that in mind. Anyway, once you do all of the quests, you should automatically get the last item. Let me know if you like the items in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one. Firstly, join this game. To get the hair, you have to find all of these letters, T, W, I, C, and E. Now, follow me to all of the letter locations. Once you have all 5 letters, you should get the badge and item. Do you like it? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one. First, we need to join this game called, Changiverse. Once you're in, you need to press this icon. 
and then teleport to the racetrack. Once you're at the racetrack, come over into this portal. And now it's time to race. In order for you to get the free item, you need to have a time less than 1 minute and 30 seconds. Avoid the red spikes as much as you can, and you should do it very quickly. Once you're done you should get the badges and items. Do you like the item? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one. This is the game we will be in today. We need to help Megan find her pet unicorn, honey. Firstly, come over here to Megan Place, and press R to talk to her, and she will give you a quest to do. Complete all of the quests and you will find honey and get the free item. For the first quest, you need to go into the mall, Come into the jewelry shop, and pick up this purse. Exit the mall, and give the purse to Megan. Now, we need to go to the cafe to pick something up. The easiest way to move around the map is by teleporting, which you can do by clicking this button over here, then pressing wherever you want to go. Go to the cafe. Get the dessert, and return back to Megan. Now for the next quest, you need to level up any pet. You should have a pet in your inventory already, but if you don't have one, teleport to the pet shop, and claim your free pet. To level up your pet, you need to look up here and fulfill your pet's needs and wants. My pet wanted to go on the zipline, so we did it. After you complete one, your pet should level up, so then return to Megan. And for this next quest, you need to get 1000 clear coins. To get clear coins, you can complete your pet's needs and wants. Or you can do jobs around the map. Teleport to the cafe to do the cafe job, or go to the hair salon in the mall to do the hairstylist job. Once you reach 1000 coins, return to Megan for the final quest. For the last quest, you just have to do the hairstylist job in the mall. Once you finish that, go to Megan and talk to her, and you should get the free item and a badge. Do you like the item? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one. This is the game we will be in today. Once you join, follow me to the middle of the map. Mount on your scooter to move faster. Now, there are two ways to get to the obby. You can go over here to this platform and go up. Or you can come over to the bouncy house and go up, just do whatever is easier for you. Anyways, once you're here, on the platform with the speakers, you have to continue to go up until you reach the space door. Once you're in space, you have to just complete the obby, and as you're completing it, make sure you collect the planets. Once you have all 9 planets and you finish the obby, you should get a badge and the item. However, I have heard that the game is glitched and some people haven't received the item. If this happens to you, the only thing we can do is wait on them to fix it, sadly. Anyways, I hope you all liked this video, and I'll see you in the next one.
So today, we'll be in this game again. You have to continue to build your tycoon. I recommend just finishing it, because to get this item, you have to build the cinema, and it's one of the last buildings. Anyways, once you have it built, come talk to this NPC, and he should give you a mission to get 4 autographs from celebrities in the game. Here's the locations of all of the celebrities. Once you have all of the autographs, go back to the cinema to talk to the NPC. And you should then get the item. Do you like it? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one. This is the game we will be in today. To get this rubber ducky aura, you need to join this game, and go to one of the targets. I recommend going to the targets with high numbers, like this one. Click the target, and your avatar should automatically run to their position. To play the mini game, you have to click the target when this arrow is in the yellow. Hitting 5 bullseyes in a row will trigger a hot streak, which lets you throw as many balls as you can for 5 seconds. Once you're done with the target, make sure you collect all of the diamonds, because you need diamonds to advance to the next area. Once you reach 2000 diamonds, Come over here to the field goal and press the lock. Click the lock and you should unlock the next area. Now run over here to the next field goal and do the same thing. After that, you should get the free item and a badge. If we want to unlock the next Yuk item, the experience needs to reach at least 10,000 likes. So make sure you give the game a like, comment your thoughts and I'll see you in the next one. OMG you guys, the same creator that gave us this free hair, is releasing even more free hair for us, and a free face. Dubazina will be released a free face and free hair if they reach 16,000 followers on Twitter by Thursday July 13th, so make sure you click the link below and follow. If the goal is not met, the face or the hair will not be released for free. There will be 5,000 copies of the hair, and 5,000 copies of the face. Here's how the items look. OMG you guys! While I was editing the video, the creator announced they're releasing another face for free, but on a different date from the first two items. But we do not know the date yet, or the quantity amount. But here's how all of the items look. Do you like them? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one. Nike Lin has finally updated, and there are two new free items available. But the twist is that you can only choose to have one of them, not both. But to get them, you have to find all 10 teddy bears around the map. Once you find a teddy bear, press Q to make it happy. And this bar should fill up. Once you find all of the bears, you should then be able to choose which free item you want. I ended up choosing the backpack. Once you choose, you should get the item and badge. Do you like them? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one. First, join this game. I highly recommend going in a private server, and don't worry, they're free. Once you're in, come over here to the Super Ball Dash mini game. To get the item, 
you have to play and complete all four of the different maps of the Super Ball Dash mini game. To play the mini game, you have to come over to the game and press E, and it should say ready right here. Click on the Super Ball Dash mini game, and then play. It takes some time because the game will continue to give you the same maps before they give you a new one, so you have to have patience. But, once you play them all, you should get the item. Do you like it? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one. This is the game we will be in today. Some of you guys may already know I made a video on these two items a while ago, and I'm so happy they're finally out. Anyway, to get the items, you have to complete this checklist. Go over here to put on makeup. Come over here to do your hair. And finally, come up here to apply sunscreen. After you've done all of that, you should be teleported to the obby. Once you complete the obby, you have to go to the vending machine to claim the items. So everyone in the comments of my last video were asking um, for a tutorial on how I made this fake headless. So here you go. So for the head, you're going to want to equip the iron bulb head. This package costs 250 Robux. That's really worth it in my opinion. And then for the hair, you're going to use this old Hollywood hair. And this gives you like the headless effect. Now that alone is fine. Like you can leave it like that. Or what I did in the video is I also equipped this black fluffy anime hair which you don't have to, but I just think it looks way better. Although, in order to equip multiple hairs, you have to have the BTR Roblox, or BT Roblox extension or whatever on your computer, which I don't think you can do on mobile, but, you know, yeah. If you have the extension, you can just click on it, and bam, that's how I did my hair in the video. Wait, this one actually looks promising. Would you wear this? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one. So, some people have been asking me how I changed the color of the background in the Roblox catalog, and it's actually a game. One of my favorite games actually. It's called In the Avatar Studio, and you can make outfits in there and also record videos in their photo studio. I prefer this over other catalog games because it's neat and the UI is just so clean. But the photo studio is a huge plus. To go to the photo studio, press this. You can add things to the background like snowflakes, and you can change the color here. You can also do emotes here, which is great for recording videos. Anyways, I hope you like it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one.